Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, we're gonna do something quite elaborate. Basically, uh, using grease pencil to control a chain of bones, and that bones will control another mesh. And we're gonna try to do it uh, in the most procedural kind of way. So yeah, let's get started. First of all, we need some kind of mesh, and I think we can use a, a text. So that's the easiest. And let's just write down something. Then give it some thickness. And for the text to work properly, probably we need to convert it into a good mesh. Let's smooth it. Disconnect, remove. Disconnect it face. And okay, this is better. And we can apply we can even uh, triangulate it oh cannot apply modifier for this object type okay this is a curve convert to mesh convert to mesh now it is a mesh file save as text spline anim all right so how are we going to animate this um let's see first of all i like to do this smart uv project just in case we're gonna export it and we need a first of all just bring all that we need like a uh, armature for example uh perhaps the text needs to be just rotated 90 degree oops minus just make it like that And this bones x-ray. So I kind of know a little bit of blender rigging, but it's not not like the really good at it. But so we have our bones hierarchy. With our bones, I like to name it uh, in a better way. So instead of bone, so instead of bone dot zero zero zero. I don't like the dots there, so I'll change the naming. Um, sorry, name. Oops, I made a mistake. Where's the my batch name? Okay, this is a this is a script to do the batch renaming. I think the name of add-on is batch name. Um, it's really powerful. It's a. I think really really worth it it can go through all objects in blender and then kind of rename it so but it's it, it's kind of work in the <clears throat> in the background you can't really see it but you can see it just rename something there instead of dot it's become underscore anyhow that's a uh, for another story this is the the blender naming material dot zero zero one is also not very good it has to be material underscore zero zero one. Um, parent this use a uh, automatic weight. Hopefully this works. Okay, the weighting is seems pretty good. It's gonna work all right. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's try controlling this using sphere chalk and notes and grease pencil actually so let's uh, let's make a grease pencil stroke and just uh, maybe go to the front view oh it doesn't matter we are gonna do, we are going to do this in the free form kind of way so I'm just drawing a stroke of grease pencil and go to the compositing spread chalk add-on and here we're gonna use control space GP this is a macro, this is gonna get the grease pencil, and we're gonna plug in frame info into this frame. So it's a it's more sync with the timeline. And everything will be taken care of, and we're gonna have we can have a spline or poly line viewer. I've actually I've done this in the past actually, and this is kind of working okay. 
uh, it's actually working really great. It's uh, in the past I probably didn't explain it properly. So here we have to do a little bit of rigging, and let's go to the post mode, and I believe select the last bone and then go to bone constrain, and add a spline IK, and our spline is the one that's coming from stretch up, is being generated on the fly. That's that's the key point, and it's, it's actually really really powerful because we can modify this um, on, on, on the fly. Like uh, we can change the curve on the fly. So this is really powerful. Normally you probably will use like curve modifier or something. So, yep, seems to be doing something. It's probably a good idea if, uh, if the length can be adjusted. Oh. I know I should have created more bones maybe save this first anyhow and we have the grease pencil ready we can change it shorter stroke and see how it's uh, behaving frame pass points so we should have alpha oh okay maybe need to increase this okay it doesn't seem to be bending uh, sometimes okay we need more points apparently all right now it's a little bit better let's continue so this is how we're gonna animate the text using Grease Pencil. So this is like a proof of concept. Of course, when you're animating like this, you need to make sure um, you, you have to take considerations of the twist, the twist of the curve. The twist is actually controllable in SpreadShop. Here, there's a twist. Um, but maybe the twists need to transfer into the bone itself. So maybe in the armature. So I don't want to make things too complicated for now. Maybe there's a control to twist the bones. Um, but that's the idea basically. You can control text uh, using Grease Pencil. And you can really animate this way. and. Maybe you want to um, kind of make this like a like a springy. You kind of so the text kind of there drop into the ground, and then it start to be in the position of slinky, and go to the next frame and drop and slide. So if we hide our curve and we hide we hide our bones, um, so we have grease pencil controlling our blend text. So that's a kind of like a slinky, more like a warm, but it's a it's nice. And the nice, uh, the really cool thing about this is that you can easily bake it as alembic. But this is since this is also bone animations, I can convert it into augmented reality of like a usdc file format or gltf all right so there you go there's a quick uh overview of the whole setup whole procedures that you can use to to make a text that's a uh, controlled using bones and also controlled using grease pencil everything is very very smooth and i don't know i think you can use this for something currently it's just a single stroke of grease pencil which become a spline IK controlling these objects, but it can can also be like a maybe like a tentacles of a octopus maybe or like some kind of robot. Uh, there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.